What's happening guys? Long time no see, I know, but um, I want to say sorry for that because I had a lot of stuff to do for school, you know, it's just my final year and um, I really have um, a limited amount of time to do these videos and um, yeah, I just don't have enough time to, besides, you know, working for school and uh, going to the gym and stuff like that, so it's really busy busy year this last year but um, I'll do my best um, recently my PlayStation 3 got the yellow light of death and um, yeah it was I looked it up how to fix it and the main reason is that um, the heat sensor the temperature sensor uh, breaks down and the fan keeps spinning at a um, low RPM which causes the CPU and the GPU to heat up uh, a lot and uh, that melts the solder that's between the CPU or GPU and the motherboard and that's the, one of the biggest reasons for the yellow light of death but you can fix that by reflowing it and there's a uh, link in the description with a uh, full disassembly that's why I didn't cover it this, uh, the disassembly and how to reflow your PlayStation 3 but this video is a kind of a how to um, uh, you know how to uh, prevent the yellow light of death and how to prevent it from coming back when it has happened uh, once so I have already reflowed my PlayStation 3 with uh, the help of the video in the description and um, but that's like a temporary fix you can uh, get it you can still get the yellow light of death again if you uh, if your temperature sensor is uh, you know broken totally and um, there's a site in the description also with a product this is, this is the bill of oh, I dropped something I think it's gonna screw it anyway um, this is kind of a um, a manual fan control you have to connect this to your um, power input of your uh, motherboard which is right here and you have to connect your fan to this right here and uh, you can control it with a little screwdriver the speed of your fan which is a lot more reliable if you have a faulty um, you know temperature sensor which uh, doesn't increase the RPM of the fan anymore and let me find that screw that I, I dropped oh here it is anyway so um, I bought this for like 22 pounds which is about 30 euros I think about 40 45 dollars um, it's from a very good site it's called um, console tech or something damn thing won't down to focus anyway so I put I'll put a link in the description where you can also buy this it's very I really recommend it and uh, just get this out of here and as you can see I have my PS3 is everywhere like there are bits over there there are bits over there one of the covers anyway um, you, I didn't assemble this part, well I did for reflowing but now it's not necessary so what you need to do is, here's the thing itself so this goes in here and um, your fan connects in there you see and then you can control it with this little thing here with screwdriver as you can see so I will cover that so you just need to unconnect this thing and um, you connect this one so here's your fan your, this, oh by the way this is only for the fat versions of the PlayStation 3 um, this is a 60 gigabyte model I don't know I think it will work on a, uh, on a 80 40 or 20 so I'm not sure but uh, let me just connect this it has to go in here I don't know if there's enough light for you to see yeah, like that. Yep. And um, your fan goes in there. So this is really hard to do with one hand. Oh god damn it! Okay, there we go. Yep. There we go. So this is how it should look like when everything is connected. You know it's really easy plug and play, it's not really complicated. And you also have a per, uh, version with a potentiometer which is a little bit bigger than this, but this is like internal and like tucked away so I like it. I like I like it more. 
and now you have to put this bit well, you know like all this back in there which is the trickiest part so um, and also underneath here there's like a sticky thing which uh, with which you can stick this on something so it doesn't move but uh, yeah I'll cover that and I'll get back to you guys I'm back guys and what I did is um, I figured out a way to put this cable away and because it's like really long like I don't oh my god look this is like my hand it's still it's like almost a meter anyway um, I um, like I said you can stick you could stick that driver away so I um, put it over there nice nicely tucked away so as you can see fans connecting underneath there there's the, uh, the power so and this come but you have to watch out because there's a screw right here and you have to watch out that um, you can still clear it with cable and what I thought doing because like I want to put the, the driver that's my phone um, I want to put this like over here somewhere you know so you can exit uh, through one of these holes and this is like the, the 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 downside or I don't know how you call it of the PlayStation 3 so you have to flip this over actually so I thought like putting this away through there like that like push it back a bit so it clears this screw yeah and uh, like put the cable away like that underneath there and uh, like stick it with some tape and then go over there and come back to there where you can then <clears throat> attach it to here somewhere you know but um, I'm gonna try to stick this cable underneath here and um, I'll see what I can do I'll get right back to you so I'm back but I can't change my mind I um, cut the wire the very big one and shortened it to like this so I soldered this back here and um, you know this is Thing is still in there but I'm gonna loop it over there and bring it directly here somewhere so I'm gonna do that first I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the camera here somewhere so you can see let me think um, hmm. gotta be creative right so uh, let me see if I can see everything good from there yeah pretty much so here you go, so we got this, um, keyboard. so I'm actually gonna loop this around here, so like that, I'm gonna try to put it in like that, um, be sure to clear this screw over here, because that's like, like I said before, it's right under it, so I'm gonna try to do this, which is really hard, uh, like that, wait a minute, there we go. So that fits snugly. That's uh, it's in, uh it's, everything is locked down in position. And um, you see, it clears that screw. I bend it over a little bit from to here. And uh, now I'm gonna fasten it somewhere here but um, here these uh, the on and off button have to go has to go here so let me get a little bit of light there we go so this has to go on like this that actually so you can put it here somewhere and here the the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth sensors go like over here so like that like you have a little bit place down there or here where you can put it um, I'll see what I can do so just you have these two screws that come with them so they have to go through two holes through the vents and um, this screw like thing um, has also to be over one of those holes so you can control it from the outside with a mini uh, Phillips screwdriver or something like that um, I'm gonna try to tuck this away and I'm gonna show you how, how I uh, did it in just a moment. So this is how it turned out. I attached it here 
if this thing will focus there we go and I put the cable a little bit down there and um, this is how it looks from the outside it's really awesome I mean only see two bolts and then there you can see the little screw that try to see if I can get more light you can see it's hard to see but it's like it's in this hole like on the right of this and uh, you can control it with a little little torque driver or no screwdriver but I will uh, close this and um, show you the results also I didn't see this coming but um, when you install this here in this location you have to this um, piece for the on and off buttons will um, collide with these uh, this bolt and I had to actually dremel a piece of this metal away like you can see um, it's no problem it's not a big deal you know this still um, fits wait a minute yeah it still fits but uh, you have to dremel a piece of that metal away and I also forgot to say that the uh, reassembly video is also in the uh, description it's a uh, it's a video made by a guy it's really good it has three parts it's also part of that uh, reflowing uh, video which I saw, uh, spoke about earlier in the video but uh, yeah just wanted to say this and that the uh, reassembly is in the link below so um, I'm gonna continue putting this together so here's the finished product um, I've already um, put power to it uh, record you know um, and I have my flat headed screwdriver on standby um, to check it out so I don't lighting is really bad here oh my god I can't believe it. so there it is um, the control itself would be in this um, hole as you can see there's it's really hard to see but it's it's there you know it's like now you can see it see that like cross like thing wait a minute this thing will focus um, now you can see it good. You just have to turn that and um, it will, you know, change the fan speed. So I'm going to test it. It's like the moment of truth. So let's see. Um, so it stays on green. That's good. No yellow light of death. And uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's like on minimum. And the fan speed is already higher than like the stock. Uh, where's the mic on this thing? Um, here. Here that's like louder than normal and um, I will twist this a little bit. Oh, it's over here. Here we go. You hear that? So it works, I mean this is great, you know, no more overheating, it's like, it's a perfect fix, so I hope this helped you guys, and um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, I know it's late, but, uh, you know, be with your family and your friends, and a uh, Happy New Year, and I will see you in the next video, which I hope will be soon, and thanks for watching, man, and subscribe if you're new, you know, it always helps, see you later, guys.